Ngayon naman, pumunta tayo sa discount series. Ang discount series ay several discounts na ina-apply sa certain product. At yung mga pagkakataon na nagbigay na ng discount sa market tapos biglang magbibigay pa ulit ng isa pang discount. So nakikita natin to kapag pumunta tayo ng mall. Halimbawa, nakasale na siya ng 50%. Tapos pagdating mo sa counter, may additional 10% siyang discount. So, yun yung tinatawag nating discount series. Paulit-ulit na dinidiscountan yung isang item. Para mas maging malinaw yung concept ng discount series, tignan natin tong example number 1. Bernardino's Digishop offers a computer set at 25,000 pesos with a discount of 15%. To attract more buyers, the same computer set was given a 10% discount. How much does the computer set cost? So kung titignan nyo ninyo, yung isang computer set na yon nilagyan na siya ng discount na 15%. Pero para maka-attract ng mga buyers, gumamit pa siya or nagdagdag pa siya, or I mean, nagbawas pa siya ng 10%. So paano natin siya gagawin? Same formula will be applied. Amount of discount is equal to rate of discount times list of price. Therefore, yung rate natin ay 0.15% times yung list of price na 25,000. Makukuha natin amount of discount ay 3,750. Ngayon, para makuha natin kung magkano yung total, gagamitin natin ito. The cost is equal to list of price minus amount of discount. 25,000 is the list of price minus 3,750 which is our amount. Therefore, Yung cost niya ay 21,250 nung binawasan siya ng 15% discount. Pero di pa nga, naglagay pa ulit ng panibagong 10%. So panibago na namang computation yun. So this time around, our rate of discount ay 0.10 kasi 10% yung discount. At yung list of price natin ay yung cost natin sa una which is 21,250. Therefore, Ang ating makukuhang amount of discount ay 2,125. Para makuha natin yung cost ng computer, minus lang ulit natin ito sa list of price natin. So, 21,250 minus 2,125 is 19,125 pesos. Yan yung cost ng computer. Problem solved. Now, let's proceed to example number 2. A Labas Multi Shop offers a 10% discount for every vaccinated customer who will purchase a milk tea which sells for 110 pesos. To attract more buyers, the same product was given a 5% discount. How much does the milk tea cost for vaccinated customers? Ayan. So makikita natin na ito ay discount series problem dahil mula sa unang discount, nagkaroon ulit ng panibagong discount. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin, amount of discount is equal to rate of discount time list of price. Ang ating rate of discount ay 10% or 0.10 at ang list of price natin ay 110. Therefore, ang amount of discount natin ay 11 pesos. Para makuha natin yung total cost, list of price minus amount of discount. Therefore, 110 minus 11 is 99 pesos. Ito yung 10% pa lang. Ngayon, hanapin natin yung idinagdag or 5% discount na ipinawas ulit mula dito. Ang rate of discount natin ay magiging 0.05 at ang ating list of price ay 99 pesos. Therefore, ang ating amount of discount ay 4.95. Alamin natin kung magkano na yung milk tea para sa mga vaccinated customers. So we have now 99 pesos minus 4.95 pesos is 94.05 pesos. Problem solved. Punta na tayo sa last example. Benson sells his gaming tables for 3,500 pesos each. He put a 50% discount on the first 30 buyers. To attract more buyers, he put another 10% discount on it. How much does the gaming table cost if the discounts were availed by a person who made it to the first 30? So, ang formula natin, 
amount of discount is equal to rate of discount times list of price. Ang rate of discount natin ay 0.15 at ang list of price naman natin ay 3,500. Therefore, ang amount of discount natin ay 525 pesos. So, subtract lang natin yan sa list of price para malaman natin yung cost. It is 3,500 minus 525 which is 2,875. Ngayon naman, para malaman natin kung talagang magkano na siya kapag in ng first 30 buyers, kunin muna natin yung amount of discount. 2,875 times 0.10 is 297.50 pesos. Subtract lang natin yan sa list of price, which is 2,875 minus 297.50 Therefore, ang ating total cost ay 2,677 pesos and 50 centavos. Problem solved.